This world is getting crazier and crazier yes. by the day. Yes. Now, Hollywood may not have all the details correct. We don't know if people are really going to be disappearing out of their clothes. We don't know exactly what's going to take place on that day. But the one thing we do know is that on that day, the trumpet will sound. Come on. Yes, That's it will. one thing we know for sure is going to happen. Yes, it will. Amen? Come on. But judgment day. Growing up, we had a, it was a church about half an hour from where I grew up. I probably told this story before. Every Halloween season, they would open their church up for a dramatization where they would follow two different families. One family would be a, a great church going family, and the other would be a family that, well, they went to church, but they didn't really live it. And it followed them through their life. One year they had a little girl that was laying in a bed, dying. And as they went through their life, you see some of them that would be partying. Some of them that would be in a church service somewhere. But at the end, at the end, there was the hell scene. And can I tell you, it wasn't half as high as it would have been in hell for real. Come on. But I can I tell you that's the closest depiction of hell that I've ever seen. But those that didn't serve God, that's where they went. And if you weren't where you need to be in God, can I tell you that was going to scare the mess out of you? Because let me tell you, that's not somewhere where you want to be. But then those that that serve God, those that lived a godly life that they were saved. They went to heaven. Jesus would come out and say, welcome. But can I tell you, there's people today that think all that's a bunch of fake. They think that it's not real. You see, when this world is all over and we are called away, we are told that we will stand in judgment for everything that we have done. Amen? Come on. Judgment day. How will you be judged? You see, the Bible says that God has a book that has names written down in it. The Lamb's Book of Life. Yes. I go look through and see if Zach's name's in there. See if Brother Jim's name's in there. Yes. See if my name's in there. And you better hope that your name is written in that Lamb's yeah. Book of Life. This Come morning. on. Because if your name is not written in this book, you didn't make it to heaven. As I said, people think that it's just a story. It's just something that was man-made. But can I tell you this morning, heaven is real and hell it is real high. Come on. Yes, it is. Come on. Preach it. You have a story in the Bible. The gentleman called up to heaven and said, Can I get just a drop of water? You see, it was too hot. Can you imagine having to stand in the middle of a burning fire all day long? This is a fire that is unquenchable. It's not somewhere where you want to be this morning. And it's not somewhere where you want to spend eternity yet. Come on. So my question for you this morning is how will you be judged? The verse we read today said, for the time of judgment must begin in the house of God. It's 
scary, isn't it? The time of judgment must begin right here. What does that mean? You see, we're going to go through tests. We're going to go through trials in our lives as Christians. Sometimes it's going to be harder to, to handle sometimes. But can I tell you, we have Jesus on our side. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Sometimes those trials, we got to make sure that we get through them. God is going to judge us. You see, there are many that claim Christianity, but yet live a worldly life. Come on. Yes, there are. They claim to be living for God, but yet they like the things of the world so much so that they keep going back to Him. Come on. You see, they haven't truly let God change them. They haven't let go of their past. They kept holding on to it. See, God sees that behavior. And He is going to judge those that don't do right. I'm here to tell you today that we have to live the right way. Yes. We have to live the way that God wants us to live. But that verse said the judgment begins in the house of God. You see, the church is going to be judged. How many people did you invite? How many Bible studies did you teach? What did you do for the Lord? Did you run from what He wanted you to do like Jonah did? How will you be judged this morning? See, God wants to see this church rise up from the ashes and become something that hell is going to be afraid of. Come on. Yes. Yes. We've already seen some of the times where the enemy has fought us so hard because he's afraid of where we're going. Come on. We gotta let that continue this morning. Come on. You see, I don't want to say that Christ's life didn't do what we could have done to reach our city this morning. Yeah, we did the back to school bash a couple weeks ago. We've had one baptized from that. We've done a Bible study from that. But that's not enough, church. Come on. That's not enough. Come on. We've got to get into our schools. We've got to get into our workplaces. We've got to show them the love of God. Yes. You see, if we believe this sign on our wall this morning, then why haven't we got out there and tried to reach whoever we can? If we believe that if we will do that, then He will give us the revival that we've been asking for. Why haven't we done that? Because the last part of the scripture says that what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? There's a city full of people out there that aren't obeying God's word right now. Maybe that's because they don't know it. Mark. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. They may not know what thus saith the Lord. Exactly. Yes. But that's where we come in. Right. That's where we say, hey, let me give you a Bible study. Yeah. Let, let me invite you to church. Let me show you what God can do for you. Yes. We don't want them to wind up in hell, church. Yeah. We don't want them to wind up in the lake of fire. Those who do not obey the word of God will be cast into the lake of fire. Those who think it's just a popularity contest to see what you can do for somebody else. Come on, somebody, let me tell you. You had better get on the right track today and get in line with God. Because His word says that judgment will begin in His house. How will you be judged? You see, we need to make sure we are a clean place where people can come in and see that God is moving. People aren't going to go somewhere that's dirty. Oh, let's get quiet out yeah. here. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. 
How many of you would go into a restaurant that was filthy? Sit at a table that looked like it had never been cleaned since the day the place opened up. Now I know I talk about we have a lot and I love that place. They got this brand new building that you all been into before it's been remodeled. You've seen the place. Yeah. It's not really a place that you wanted to go sit down and eat Come on. with your family. Right. Right. But can I tell you, Craig Emmerich has cleaned that place up. Right. That place has completely changed. That's a place where now you don't want to go inside and sit down and eat. But let's just say, for instance, he just came in and put his business in. What would that say about him? Would you want to go and sit there and eat your food? Can I tell you this morning, we've got to be a place that people are going to want to come in and worship God. Yes. Gossip and dissension among the brethren not paying our tithes, not being willing to do what needs to be done around the church. Come on. That's not just cleaning and making sure things are good. But also, it means outreach, yes. follow-up, Bible studies, prayer and fasting chains. Yes. Come on, somebody. Right. I'm going to be real with you this morning. If you're more willing to help out in your job, than you are in the house of God. There's something wrong. Come on. Yes. Yes. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. If we go to our boss and say, okay, what he's done, I'll, be, I'll come in on Saturday morning and work for you. Oh, wait. That's been his prayer breakfast. I'll still come in and work for you. I can skip one. There's something wrong. Come on. Yes. If that's your day off, there's something wrong. Yes. If you look at it and say, okay, I can work an extra three hours tonight. It's Thursday night. Uh, and you're back in your mind and say, wait. I'm going to be late for church. Go on, break. I might not be able to make it. Come on. Come on, somebody. That's it. Yes. That's it. Come on. Yes. Where is your walk with God at? Come on. Right. How will you be judged? Because God's going to judge you for that. Come on. He's going to say, well. You chose money over me. That's right. You chose your job over me. That's good. You can sign up for overtime, but you can't sign up to help go on outreach. Come on. Or come to church on an off night for prayer. Yes. Come on. Yes. Or for a special service. Or just even clean the back room sometimes. Right. There's something wrong. Come on. I heard Sister Tasha in the classroom talking about this morning asking the kids if they never eat dirt. We don't want to eat dirt. We don't want to be dirty. But can I tell you, that kind of stuff right there will make the church dirty. Come on. As Brother Manny was talking about this morning, the unity. If we're not unified, how can God use us to have come more on. people come in? That's right. No one will be exempt on Judgment Day. Come on. We will have to give an account for what we have done or said or didn't do or didn't say. See, the Bible says that the angels will judge once. Second Peter 2 and 4 says, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. If he would judge the angels, can I tell you, he's going to judge us. Yes, he is. Come on. How will you be judged this morning? Those that commit crimes in our country, they have to go before a judge. They state their claim. They go through, the lawyers try to help them get off. 
But when that gavel comes down, when that sentence is read, it's over. Come on. Church, we're living in the last days. We have to more than ever make sure that we are living how we need to be living for God. Can I tell you this morning when that trumpet sounds, it's going to be too late to run to an altar. Come on. It's going to be too late to fall to your knees and say, God, I'm sorry. Come on. Give me one more chance, God. It's going to be too late. We need to make sure that we are ready for when he comes back. The Bible says that no man knows the hour nor the day the Lord is coming back. Can I tell you, you can come back after we leave here today. Where will you go? Where will you spend eternity at? God's going to judge the church. We need to make sure that he can find no fault in this church. Come on. Not all churches have issues. There's no perfect church. But can I tell you this morning, we've got to do what we can. If we're not getting out into this city and reaching those people in this city, then why are we even here? Yes. Yes. Why are we here this morning? There's a whole city out there that believes they're saved. There's a whole city out there that thinks they can go to the bar on Friday night and get drunk and get hung over and they go to church on a Sunday morning. Everything's okay. Let me go into the closet and talk to the guy and tell him what I did and he'll tell me you'll forget him. Come on. And everything will be okay. I can go back and do it next week. Right. Come on, somebody. How will you be judged? When that gavel comes down, will he say, enter in? Or will he say, depart? For I never knew. Those are words that you do not want to hear said on the day of judgment. How will you be judged this morning? Yes. What kind of things are in your life that shouldn't be there this morning? Come on. Maybe you slipped up and said some words that you shouldn't have said. Maybe you looked at some things that you shouldn't have looked at. Maybe you've gone some places you shouldn't have gone. Come on. Can I tell you this morning, it's time to make it right with God. Come it's on. time this morning to make it right before it's too late. Yes. It's time to say, God, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait till the last minute. You don't know when the last minute's going to be. Judgment day is coming. Yes. It's almost here, at church. The signs of the times are among us. We may have five years. We may have three months. Until the Lord comes back. We don't know. We've got to do our part. Yes. Preach it, brother. We've got to do our part for this city. The time has come. The judgment must begin. Come on. At the house of God. Come on. Can we let it begin right here this morning? Can we tell God we're sorry for the things that we've done? Make us whole. What? Show me the end of them that obey not 
gospel of God. That scripture right there. That portion of scripture right there should be more than enough to tell you this morning that you need to make up your mind Come on. who you're going to serve this Come morning. Come on. Yes. Come on. Where are you going to go? Young people, when you walk into your schools tomorrow, are you going to listen to those dirty jokes? Are you going to laugh and cut up with those that you know they're not doing right? Or are you going to say, hey, let me tell you where I was yesterday. Let me tell you what God did for me yesterday. Let me show you let me show you in the word what God says can happen. Come on. Can I tell you this morning, if you pass up an opportunity to tell somebody about God, he's going to remember you. That may be that person's last chance to hear about God. Come on. Those kids in their classes, those people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. It may be the last time they can ever hear about God. If you don't want to be judged for that, take the time to witness. Take the time this morning to go to a city. I see you struggling. Can I tell you about something that's going to help? Let me tell you about what God did so many years ago on the cross. Where he bore the stripes. The crown of thorn was placed upon his head. Where he was nailed hands and feet to the cross. He did it for you and for me. Yes. He did it so that on judgment day he can say, Welcome. Enter to the kingdom of God. How will you be judged on that day, church? I'm here to tell you this morning, you better get it right with God. You better get it right with God this morning because you don't know when it's going to be too late. Come on. Yes. Heard a preacher tell a story one time of some young men that they had backslidden. They had come back to church for a special service and they had gotten there early. They decided to leave to go to a gas station close by, get something to drink. The pastor said he received a report a little later on. Those young men had been killed in a car accident. If they had just stayed just a little bit longer, so that they were early. But if they just stayed, Don't let it be too late. Come on. Yes. Judgment day is coming. Get where you need to be this morning. These altars are open. I want you to just call out to him this morning. I want to just ask him this morning to search your heart. Ask him this morning.